So if you wind the clock back uh, way in the beginning of Okanjima, this place started off as a, as a cattle farm. From the onset, really, it was quite clear that um, the, the, the hunting side of, of, of our second income, as it were, to supplement our cattle farming, um, didn't have a conservation aspect to me. It was very difficult. Um, and so we started concentrating more on the guest side of things. So that makes it very difficult. Now you specialize in our ecotourism project, which for me was by far the biggest benefit in, for conservation, because our spearhead was always towards what can we do uh, to benefit conservation? What, what can we, what part could we play? Nakanjima is not just a lodge. It has environmental education center. It has a school. And we've had AFRICAT as the program that is actually the start of our conservation side of it. All these right now, and the research side is the most impacted, are not, they're not essential services, sadly. We, we need to save the land, the animals, and the business that can then live to fight another day. It's, tourism just provides for so many people in, in, in so many different ways and on so many different levels that um, people need to realize that tourism definitely has a place um, in firstly the economy of the, of the country or, and of the world, but secondly in every kind of micro economy. The tourism element at the end of the day is, is what makes all our dreams come true. And um, COVID-19 sure rocked that boat. I think it's absolutely essential, not just for the brown hyena research, but for our leopard, aardvark, pangolin research. Um, basically, without tourism, as we're seeing now, these research projects are just sort of ground into a halt, um, you know, for, for lack of funding. But it really means that at the moment, with no tourism, our research projects are just under so much pressure and, and, and in danger of stopping, and, and this would just be a massive shame. So tourism is, is very essential. Want has got a certain value. Whether it's now tourism, whether it's now uh, for commercial purpose, whether it is now generally to get tourism into the country, um, and not, and also to to make wildlife known as part of the wider agricultural part, and not only be something exotic, something really special. It must be something. Fortunately, now with the drought, with the cold, that had come. Hopefully, in circumstances. Um, if I see, and I personally um, sit in front of the TV and I see wildlife series or whatever, and it's just running smoothly, smoothly, smoothly. And most of those people don't even know what is behind the scene. And if I get a chance now with the, with the tourists coming in and they want to chat, it's not free to, to, to give my personal experience, whether it's 100% correct or not at that moment or not, I do not know. But I like to share it so that at least they can value what they see later in, in a series or YouTube or whatever it is. Um, I like it. The research we do must have an element of, of improving the life of that animal. It mustn't be just an academic uh, approach as to it's interesting to know. It, it must also have an element where the animal is benefiting. Therefore, it must have some way that could make that species live a little more naturally. That is a very important part of it. All pangolin species are Appendix 1, and that's the same level of protection as for rhino or elephant. Um, so it's just as illegal to traffic a pangolin as it is for rhino horn. And um, any species given that status is believed to be threatened with extinction in the future. So everything we're doing kind of ties together with the aim of helping pangolin um, because unfortunately they are traf the most trafficked mammal in the world. To study a nocturnal animal in an area where there's lots of predators is not easy. Very often we have to say, we've got to call it off. Um, this leopard's too close or it's too dangerous for our safety. And that means, you know, the field work we wanted to do, we can't do. Um, 
but um, yeah, all of the challenges at the end of the day make it worth um, you know trying and when we overcome that it's a great feeling to say okay look what we've gotten to do. Again, teamwork, thank you very much. It's caught us with our pants down now, but it's not going to do it again. <laughs> People could walk closer, but it has to be like totally silent. Because um, we've been waiting for a while now.